This is question number three. In the first part for four marks, we're asked to find and simplify the first three terms in the expansion of two plus five x to the power of six in ascending powers of x. We've got a couple of choices in terms of the way in which we find the binomial coefficients. We can use the NCR method or we can use Pascal's triangle. If we use Pascal's triangle, we would have now the row 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6 and 1. We only need the first three terms. That would give us 1, 6 and 15. I'm going to write this out using the NCR method, but I know that these are the first three coefficients that I'm going to need. So I can write 2 plus 5x to the power of 6 will be equal to. We will have now 6c0, which is 1, 2 to the power of 6 multiplied by 5x to the power of 0, plus 6c1 will have 2 to the power of 5 we will have 5x to the power of 1. We'll have plus 6c2. We'll have 2 to the power of 4. We will have 5x, which we need to square, plus dot, 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 and so on and so forth. So this is going to give me 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of 6, which is 64, multiplied by 1. Then we're going to have 6 multiplied by 2 to the power of 5, which is going to give me 32, multiplied by 5x plus 6c2 which we know to be 15 or of course we could just type it in we could press 6 shift then the divide and 2 that would give us for 15 we can put in here now 15 lots of 2 to the power of 4 which is going to give me 16 multiplied by 25x squared we need to square the bracket so this is going to give me now 64 I've now got 6 times by 5 times by 32, which should give me 960x. And then we have 15 times by 16, which is 240, times now by 25, which is going to give me 6,000. Let's just check that on the calculator. So 6,000 plus dot, dot, dot. So we're going to have now 15 so 15 times by 16 times by 25, and that gives us for 6,000. Don't make errors just to write it out. Look at it on the calculator. So these are the first three terms. In the second part of the question for three marks, it says in the expansion of 3 plus cx all squared multiplied by 2 plus 5x to the power of 6, the coefficient of x is 4,416 we're asked to find the value of c. Let's first look at the expansion here. So what we can say is 3 plus cx squared is going to give us now 9 plus 3cx plus another 3cx and then we're going to have plus, we need to be careful here, plus c squared x squared. Therefore what I'm going to have now is the following. I'm going to have 9 plus 6cx and then we're going to have plus c squared x squared multiplied by the 64 plus 960x plus 6000x squared and so on and so forth. We're interested in terms in x. So if we consider the terms in x we're going to have 9 multiplied by 960 then we're going to have 6cx multiplied by 64. So on the next line, what I'm simply going to write now, we're told the coefficient of the term in x is 4416. So I can write now that 9 times by 960 plus, we're going to have 6cx multiplied by 64, 64 lots of 6c, will be equal to this value of 4416. We simply need to solve from here. So what I can say then now, 64 times by 6 is going to give me 384. And then we're going to have 4416 minus 9 times 960, which should be 
3840. So from here, I can simply divide both sides by the 384. Looking at this, you could have simplified some of this potentially earlier. Um, I'm simply going to write now that C is going to be equal to these two values. So we're going to have 4416 minus 8640 over 384. So entirely up to you. I've tried to do it mentally. I'm now just going to put this through a calculator. So let's go ahead and do about 4416 minus 8640 divided by the 384 will give me the value of C. So C is equal to minus 11. So C is equal to minus 11. Entirely up to you on how you execute that part. Show some workings. You might want to sub it straight for a calculator, but that will give us now the total of seven marks.